Hi, I'm Takeshi. I present our study about effect of gene expression level on functional prediction using gene co-expression. So we've been constructing co-expression databases for animals and plants and microalgae. The common background of constructing gene co-expression databases is that every species has their own co-expression network. So because uh, every species has their own genome sequence, then the genome sequence determines expression profile of every gene. Then co-expression relationships is similarity of expression profiles. So uh, we can say that co-expression network is fully encoded in genome sequence. The problem is we don't know uh, the full expression profile uh, for every cellular condition. But we partially, we just partially know uh, expression profile for a particular uh, cellular types or con cellular conditions. Now the, the problem is how to uh, how how to predict the final uh, expression similarity based on uh, partially obtained, partially available expression data, and also the expression data include many uh, technical noises. Okay, so our goal is uh, our goal is identifying co-expression network of species and provide uh, such co-expression information uh, via our co-expression databases. So this is overall flow of calculation of co gene co-expression. So because gene co-expression gene co is uh, relationships between gene pair. So the uh, co-expression value can be represented as a matrix. And this matrix is derived from uh, exp gene expression data. And uh, we use uh, publicly available gene expression data from NCBI Geo and EBI uh, RA Express. But uh, these uh, raw data include uh, many systematic noises and random noises. And also, uh, every species has a species-specific sampling bias because different species has di different uh, importance uh, from economical and agricultural uh, viewpoint. So uh, we should take into account uh, such hidden uh, sampling biases to obtain uh, high-quality gene-to-gene uh, co-expression. So the key point, uh, key point to construct this uh, pipeline is evaluation of the final uh, co-expression data. Because if we have complete uh, evaluation methodology, so constructing the pipeline is just an uh, optimization problem. But unfortunately, so we don't have gold truth of uh, co-expression. And because co-expression relationships is not physical relationships, and that is relationships on calculation. So uh, usually, so uh, researchers use functional annotation of genes uh, to evaluate gene co-expression. And we also use cake pathway annotation. So the uh, x-axis is gene co-expression degree. So large uh, values indicate strong co-expression and zero is random co-expression. And now uh, we have positive gene pairs and negative gene pairs. Positive, uh, sorry, negative gene pairs and positive gene pairs. Negative gene pairs are derived from different keg pathways and positive gene pairs is derived from the same keg pathways. And of course, we anticipate that uh, the positive gene pair show stronger gene co-expression. And actually, there is uh, such tendency uh, of distribution of gene co-expression. So this red uh, distribution uh, show larger gene co-expression value. And uh, the difference between black uh, or negative uh, gene pairs and positive gene pair uh, is co-expression, the uh, co-expression quality. So uh, we named this co-expression quality 
、uh, cake score because we use cake pathway annotation. And using this cake score, we can easily compare、uh, core expression quality. So, this is, a, this is an example of our database at it too. And the current version is version 11. So, the cake score of current versions、uh, current version is better than the previous versions. So, we can、uh, say that current version is better than the previous versions. And in addition, here, so,、uh, In the case of Arabidopsis, so RNSEC based co expression are better than、uh, microarray based co expression. So, this、uh, quality assessment is、uh, quite useful. Okay, so one of the、uh, representative w a y of gene co expression relationships is a、uh, two dimensional、uh, map. So, in this,、uh, and we use、uh, UMAP technology to Construct this、uh, co expression map. And in this co expression map, every gene is represented as dot. And co expressed genes are located in cross position. So after、uh, rotation and、uh, reflection, so we can obtain these types of aligned co expression map. So, for example, so when we plot genes for photosynthesis. Uh, the genes are located in bottom right region in every、uh, co expression map. And when we plot the genes for phenylpropanoid biosynthesis,、uh, the genes are located in upper right region in、uh, each co expression map. So, this is a very、uh, interesting, interesting result. So, Because、uh, the original data is completely independent. So,、uh, Arabidopsis co expression map is derived from Arabidopsis expression data, and soybean co expression data is derived from soybean expression data. But the、uh, resulting co expression relationships have some commonality.、Uh, Some commonality. So、uh, we believe that at least we grasp the uh, basic uh, real、uh, gene to gene functional relationships. But when、uh, we use、uh, this UMAP representation, we found that、uh, potential biases that is related to expression level of genes. Now, so this is a map, of,、uh, map for Arabidopsis. And when we uh, plot uh, top 500 highly expressed genes on this map, so, th so the genes are located like this. On the other hand, when we plot、uh, bottom 500 lowly expressed genes, the genes are accumulated to upper right region. So, so these、uh, distributions are apparently different. So、uh, we can say that. Expression l e v e l are linked, strongly linked to co expression relationships, and、uh, especially in the case of lowly expressed genes. So, lowly expressed genes are co expressed with each other. And this is more、uh, to, to confirm the general trend of expression level. So,、uh, we plot centroids of every、uh, desire. So, lowest tempo,、uh, centroid of lowest 10% of genes. And next 10% of genes, and the highest、uh, 10% of genes. So,、uh, centroid of genes, of course, so,、uh, there are so many genes, but、uh, centroid is apparently,、uh, derived, apparently based on expression level、uh, from the lowest to highest. And so, probably, so this is partially,、uh, at least partially.、Uh, Technical noise. And, but、uh, this may partially、uh, reflect biological,、uh, meaning, bi biological meaning for information. But in any case, s we should pay attention to this fact for the assessment of overall co expression quality. So,、uh, to understand the, the, the expression level dependency of keg score, so、uh, we Uh, performed some stratification of the assessment. And for this, uh, we, first, uh, 
we first make uh, three categories of genes. So low expressed genes are medium expressed genes and high expressed genes. And uh, gene co-expression is four pair of genes. So there are six pair of categories. So low, low expressed genes, medium, medium expressed genes, high, high expressed genes, low and medium expressed gene pair, uh, low and high expressed gene pair, and medium and high expressed gene pairs. So for every uh, species, so at least, uh, uh, at least first uh, we can say that, so every species has some uh, expression dependency. So same category is uh, relatively larger uh, keg scores than different categories, different expression categories. But in the case of uh, Arabidopsis, so Arabidopsis score are stably high uh, than the other species. So that is good. But uh, curiously, uh, surprisingly, so uh, rice co-expression quality, uh, so rice data uh, shows that so their co-expression quality surprisingly high f only for low, low expressed gene pairs. And on the other hand, uh, soybeans and brassica rapa in these cases, so uh, keg scores are surprisingly high only for high, high gene pairs and not for low, low gene pairs. So they show uh, surprisingly strong uh, co-expression dependency. And another important point is keg annotation, distribution of keg annotation. So keg annotation is a kind of uh, function, gene function annotation. And usually, uh, generally, high expressed genes has rich uh, functional annotation. Low expressed genes are poor function, has poor have functional annotation. So uh, the original keg score, so in fact, original keg score doesn't include, uh, doesn't include uh, these types of uh, expression category, but uh, that is mainly focusing on high, high expressed gene pairs because uh, Keg, uh, keg annotations mainly uh, annotated for high expressed genes. So uh, to reduce uh, these biases, the effect of these biases, so we now propose expression level adjusted score. That is just the average of this, uh, the result of stratification of this assessment. So because uh, our focus is not only for highly expressed genes, but also lowly expressed genes and medium expressed genes. So the average of these six keg score is reasonable uh, to say uh, expression level adjusted score. And in this proposed score, Arabidopsis sariana is apparently better than the uh, other species. And this is reasonable. Arabidopsis sariana is a primary uh, model species in plant. And Arabidopsis sariana has a larger number of RNA-seq RNA data. So this is reasonable. So in summary, so we first found that there are some association between expression level and uh, gene co-expression relationships. And, uh, for further improvement of gene co-expression calculation, so we propose new co-expression score that is uh, average of stratification of uh, keg scores. That uh, we can say that expression level adjusted co-expression quality score. That's all. Thanks for listening.